Right, it's um, Litfiliev in the white Jadogi, Ganbold in blue. Left sided Uchimata from uh, the Uzbek to start things off brought um, a gasp from the crowd as they thought Ganbold was about to um, get caught. He's not going to get many chances to catch uh, the Mongolian, so better catch him early. He's a dangerous, um, dangerous fighter. Uchimata again from uh, Lutfilev. Referee will allow them a certain amount of uh, time to get their grips and to change things about, but once they've had a few, a few seconds, we'll try to encourage them to um, take a grip and get active. If they don't, well, you'll call Mate and then he'll penalise one or other of them. Ganbold, who was um, penalised, and that uh, galvanised him into action there. Immediately brought um, his opponent down onto his back. With Filayev giving up um, or Wazari, so good score and a good lead now for Ganbold with um, three minutes and 25 seconds to go. Here's the scoring technique just with the hands and maybe a little a hint of a right leg just hooking in and helping to bring his opponent down like to be a little bit more upright the Mongolian then goes right sided again but Filayev is taking over from uh, Rishod Sobirov. The Sobirov, the uh, double world champion, has moved up to fight at under 66 kilos now, so he's left the field open for someone else to uh, fill that spot in Uzbekistan in any event, and looks as though it's uh, Lutfilev. We'll see if we um, see him at the world championships in a month or so's time. not uh, threatened by that left arm around the waist. A lot of fighters uh, drop the head and uh, get defensive. But uh, Ganbold still in there, almost coming up with a counter. Looks quite, uh, quite comfortable. Minute 50 left to go. Filayev persisting with the uh, Uchimata attempts. Two or three have been uh, thrown in. But, uh, hasn't come up with a score yet. He trails here by Wazari with a minute 20 left to go. on the clock. 
Golin looking comfortable. Crowd not quite on their edge of on the edge of their seats, but he's entertained them well enough. The first thing they'll want to do is to see him win. The second thing they'll want to do is to see him win with some uh, with some style. And he's already brought his man down for one score. There's a minute left. He may yet come up with another because Lutfiliev has got to go for it here. He does, but uh, Gambol just rides that one and doesn't get caught. The Uzbek looks up. He has a quick look at the clock and sees that there's 40-odd seconds left to go. He really is going to have to push it now if he's going to come up with anything. Gambol picks up a second penalty just for easing off now. Just taking it easy. Ochigari for the first time from uh, Lutfilev. He should have tried that earlier on, a different direction, but he's been one direction all the time and it really hasn't troubled Ganbold. He's never looked in that much uh, difficulty. <laughs> Crowd realised that with 10 seconds to go, he's pretty much got this one wrapped up. And even if he takes another penalty here, it's not really going to matter. He does. But uh, he's the one that's put the score on the board. And it's uh, Ganbold who comes up with uh, another medal for Mongolia. It's another bronze. This time it's in the under 60 kilo category. So. Things looking good at the moment for uh, Mongolia. We've got another strong Mongolian in the next fight. But so we'll finish this one first. Dan Bold it is. Highlights for you as well. <laughs> 